Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be discussing how to capture your screen into video using screen capturing software. I'm going to be showing you three different apps, starting off with QuickTime, which is included into Mac OS X, then going on to OBS, which stands for Open Broadcaster Software, which is, which is open source and free, and then going on to the more advanced and very expensive Camtasia. So let's jump on in. So straight out the box, QuickTime actually records um, does screen capturing right so let's load up QuickTime and let's uh, and let's re do recording benefit of QuickTime obviously is that it's free it's included you don't have to worry about installing it or anything like that you can jump straight into it right so uh, file new screen recording there we go I can select my microphone I have the zoom h1 here connected via USB cable which gives us a much better quality than connecting by the internal microphone there now once we have got it up and running it's it's going to give me options i actually have two screens here at the moment so um we're going to record uh how do you choose them well just select the one that you want and jump to it. one thing that i must say that it doesn't automatically save the the video so we're just going to save that uh we'll call it uh, quick time so up next is open broadcaster software. Uh, it's open source, which means you can download it uh, for free, no charge, you, and it's available for Windows and Mac. So interesting thing about this program is that you can actually adjust what you're recording uh, during uh, your recording itself. So uh, this this whole thing is, is my scene, and I can adjust what's in my scene with the sources. Right now I'm gonna add my secondary uh, sorry, my primary display uh, by adding it right there and uh, choosing it there. And then th on my canvas here, I can adjust what uh, the sizes of the two screens. So uh, if I were to just move my mouse there on the other screen, there you go, uh, that, that is um, my screen there. So let me move this here. And I can also add at the same time, video capture device. There's me. Let's just lower the resolution because of the CPU load. So now we've got three things happening. We have got the uh, primary screen here. We have got the secondary screen here. Uh, you can also resize this if you wanted it. Uh, and then we have me here. Okay, uh, right now in my Windows PC, uh, running Windows 8, I have got Camtasia Studio 8 on here. Camtasia Studio has a lot more features uh, like zooming and panning and animation and all that stuff. But also it's a lot more expensive, so uh, $370 Australian dollars. So um, if QuickTime uh, didn't do it for you, if OBS didn't do it for you, you're looking for extra features, uh, $370. But it's more than than uh, just a screen capturing. You also have Camtasia Studio, which is like some like an editing suite, right, uh, of the stuff that you recorded. So let's jump into uh, the studio itself. Uh, I just recorded uh, an earlier draft of this video, and and this is what they what I got. Uh, if you've ever had experience in uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, or any editing software. This will look very familiar to you. When you record with Camtasia, it doesn't uh, burn things in, right? So here is my um, my video and my camera. I can uh, move that around uh, as I feel. So and I could also cut it out. So I could uh, you know bring it in when, when when I felt the need. And that's something that uh, yeah others just don't do. Cursor effects. This will make your cursor a lot easier to see, as you can see there. I'm sure you've seen tutorials uh, using these, so that's pretty cool. So, one thing I do find with Camtasia is that it does take a while to render things out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you liked it, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.